Hi, welcome back to the Laser Smart Home. Today we'll show you how to connect your Google Home app to your Laser Smart Life app. Now the reason for wanting to do this would be to consolidate all your devices into the Google Home app and also most importantly for voice control of your Smart Life or Laser Smart Life devices. Okay, so obviously we're going to need both the Google Home app and the Laser Smart Life app. So you will need logins for both of those. Google Home normally requires a Google account, such as a Gmail address account. And the Smart Life, Laser Smart Life app will require your uh, Smart Life login that you've been currently using. So if you've already um, set this up and have uh, started using devices, you should have one already. So you can find your login details in the me section at the bottom right here and you will see that that email address up there is your actual login. Now you will need this email address to link to the uh, Google Home app, which I will show you later. Okay, so just going back into the Smart Life, I can show you here that I've got two devices set up. So we've got a kitchen switch and a single socket um, power plug, which I've called Yogi. Okay, so now let's go over to the Google Home. So what we're going to show you here is the linking of the Google Home account with our Laser Smart Life app. Okay, so what we want to do is click on this icon in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, now that will take you to a page that says Setup or Add. So we just take, tap that and then we want to tap Set Up a Device. And then we want to select Have Something Already Set Up. So from this page, we can see that there's a wealth of um, apps that are supported by the Google Home app. So we want to search, you can type the app name, Smart Life, I think there's a space between those two words. Okay, so we can see here, Smart Life. So we'll just tap that. Okay, so now that that's been selected, you will be prompted to log into your Smart Life account. So that email address that I showed you earlier, support, I'll just type that in. Okay, now that that's been typed in, I'm just gonna select link now. Now, it will come up here. Which app do you want to link? From. So we want to link from Smart Life to Google Home, so we just select Smart Life. The reason it's coming up with these two is because I've actually got another app installed called this Connect Smart Home, and I've actually got that same email address support logged into that app as well. That's why it's asking me which app, which one of these apps are you actually trying to link. So we would select Smart Life, link now, and then we select Authorize. Okay, so now that's linking. And we're done. So the two accounts are now linked together. So the Laser Smart Life and the Google Home. So if we just go down here, we'll see that there's actually only one device showing, Kitchen Switch. Now if we go back to the Laser Smart Life app, we'll actually see that there's two devices here, Kitchen Switch and Yogi. So Yogi is not appearing. Uh, so don't worry, we can still control Yogi completely from the Google Home app. So what we need to do now is set up what we call scenes or automation. So we just tap this smart icon at the bottom here. Okay. And then we will select add scenario. Okay. So over here, we want to just give the scenario name. You can call it whatever you like, but uh, we recommend calling it um, something appropriate to the function that you'll be performing. So. We can just call it Yogi On. Okay, so let's save that. Now, what action do we want Yogi On to perform? So we'll select that. Sorry, we'll just go back. So select Add Action. Now, what device do we want to perform that action? So we want Yogi. Now, what function do we want to perform? So we've got, you know, On Off there. 
we've got some timer functions in here so we quite simply just select switch and we want it to turn on so we just select yogi on click save and next and that's done so we just click save here now what that's done is that's added a a command there now this yogi device is actually this little switch right here now I'm just going to go ahead and turn Yogi on okay so that click and that blue light you can see has actually turned Yogi on so what we want to do is we want to add a Yogi off scene or automation so let's go back into smart and we'll select add we'll select name we'll call it Yogi off and select save we add the action we select the device yogi switch and off and we hit save next and save again okay so now we have two uh, scenes or automations for Yogi. One is turning off and one is turning on. So as you can see that's currently turned on. We just select Yogi off and as you can see it's turned off. So we can see now that that's working. Okay, so we're done on this Laser Smart Life app. So let's just exit out. Now what we can do is we can import those scenes or automations over to our Google Home app. Now the first thing you want to do in the Google Home app, whenever you've made any changes, you really want to refresh the Google Home app. Now you simply do this by just tapping and dragging down. Now as you can see that little refresh icon has appeared. Okay. Uh, if after doing this you still find that the changes aren't updating, um, you probably want to just exit the app, go over to the settings of your phone and find where the app is installed so apps now we want to go down to the letter H because that's Google Home there so we just click Google Home and we want to force stop the app so what that does is it completely shuts the app down so that the next time you open it it will actually talk to the Google servers so connect online and it'll actually get the latest updated information so this is a good way to force the application to update so we just click force stop It'll just stop the app running in the background so that the next time we open the app up it will gather the data over the internet so any changes that you've made will uh, hopefully be applied so okay now that we've refreshed the app we want to go ahead and import those uh, automations or those scenes over to Google Home so we select routines which is the um, equivalent Okay, so we want to play routines on this device, so select edit, make sure this device is selected, we click done. Okay, so from here we want to manage routines. Okay, so we select that and now on this screen we want to add a routine. Okay, so from here we will very importantly need to give Google Home the command that we're actually going to, going to say. So. This is what we'll be actually saying when we want the command to execute. So we can keep it simple. So we'll just say turn Yogi on. Okay. So we just select OK. Now that's that's the spoken command. And what action do we want that to perform? So we select add action. We want to browse from popular actions as you can see there'll be a lot of options here what we want to do is we select adjust scenes because that's the scene that we set up in the laser smart life okay so as we can see here these are the scenes that we've previously set up in the smart life app so they're importing over to google home as you can see so what we want is the yogi on scene select ok and then select add now finally we just want to select save now that's been added so as you can see here turn yogi on has been added so we want to 
add another routine we want to keep it in line with our other one so we'll just select turn yogi off okay so turn yogi off we select okay what action do we want so we add an action browse popular actions exactly as before we select this time yogi off okay now that's been done and we just select add and save so as you can see here we now have uh, two different scenes or actions set up within the Google Home okay so even though we don't have the Yogi appearing on here we can still control it so normally you would say the words okay g-o-o-l-e I'm not going to say the, that word because it'll actually trigger what's actually recording <laughs> so it'll actually cause some havoc with the devices that I'm currently using now so I won't say the full thing but if you want to not say okay so and so you want to just tap this button here which allows you to speak and you can just go ahead and uh, execute the commands that we've just programmed so let's do that now turn yogi on okay so that click and that blue light as you can see it's indicated that that worked so let's go ahead and turn it off turn yogi off Okay, so that's turned off. Alrighty, you can control that directly by saying OK, G O O L E, turn Yogi off, etc. Or you can tap that to do it. Okay, so as you can see, uh, Google Home and the Laser Smart Life work together very well as long as you've set up all those scenes there. Alrighty, uh, enjoy guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.